viewers, this is Rise, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Between this episode and the last, I just did some minor inventory changes here. Equipment changes, really. I just switched the great charm that Paula had, gave it to Jeff, and switched the uh, flame pendant that Jeff had, gave that to Paula. And I just wanted to give Paula the better defense, as well as protection against... Um, what is it? Fire, because she has less HP, and since there's no other way to reduce PSI damage, I just figure it's better suits Paula. And the great charm for Jeff, because there's really nothing else to give him at this time for body armor. And besides, perilous protection is minorly useful for Jeff. After all, he's the one that mainly relies on his item command, and that's sealed a bit under when you're paralyzed. So I figured, what the hell? Why not? Uh, let's see. And I switched the coin of defense into Mr. Saturn coin. Gave the Mr. Saturn coin to Jeff simply to keep his defense above 100, and the coin of defense just went to Paula because it's the lesser item, and the flame pendant compensates for any loss of defense there. And I did nothing to Jeff's inventory equipment. I didn't switch the night pendant because the uh, protection against things like uncontrollable crying, doing strange, really affect Ness more when he's under them because he relies on his physical attacks more than any other character. Especially later on, when Jeff pretty much never physically attacks. Okay, well, let's uh, go on the helicopter. Alright, it's automatic for us! Oh, man. What a nice helicopter. What the hell? Je Ness, wh wh what are you doing? Jump! Jump! Jump, Ness! Jump! Oh, it it's Pokey. Well, what the hell? He can stick his head through solid glass? Alright! That's a cool ability. Oh, he's gonna steal the helicopter. Wait, 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 wait. Pokey knows how to fly? A freaking helicopter? What the hell? Did he take pilot lessons? Come to think of it, how does Ness, Paula, and Jeff... Okay, well, I guess Jeff would know how to fly a helicopter, but... Still, Pokey? What the hell? Oh, and Paula's gonna be kidnapped again. And so soon, too. What the hell? We didn't even get to use her in battle again. What a crock of crap that is. Oh, wait, no, she's not. That's good. That would have really pissed me off. Yeah, when I first played this game, I thought she was going to be kidnapped or something there. It's like, what the hell? And they were in the back. All right. One thing I don't like about the dialogue in this game, it's kind of hard to tell who's talking half the time. Okay, well, we need to make our way out of the building, and I'm just going to off-screen that. But I will show, there is one little part of dialogue I want to show. So I'll edit out the rest and show that dialogue. Alright, see you there. Okay, here we are. Here's the dialogue. Somebody's calling him. I wonder who it is. Oh, it's Apple Kid. What's he want? I bet he made a new invention. He discovered the primary enemy of all humanity? Jeez, I wonder if it's Gygus. You know, it's not like they told us that at the very first thing in the freaking game. Oh, wait, they did. Man, where the hell have you been, Apple Kid? Phase Distorter, huh? Foreshadowing! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I might as well show this girl's dialogue. I like it. Yeah, I'm a friend of them. Sure, you can have my autograph. Oh, what the hell? All right, I'll meet you at the end outside this building. Okay, let's go do some shopping first. Oh, what the hell? I want to do some shopping. Okay, uh, there's really no reason to watch another Runaway 5 bus ride, though. Let's go super speed. Whoa, jeez. I'm amazed we didn't get a speeding ticket there. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. Okay, uh, I'm gonna head to Foreside, go to the department store, and do a little bit of shopping. I plan on getting... I'm gonna fill up Jeff's inventory with big bottle rockets. Not super bombs, because I don't want to buy super bombs for everybody. I don't, I don't think it's necessary anymore, now that Paul is back. I use super bombs to compensate mainly for the lack of Paula, but now that you have her back, it's really not necessary. If you want to get them for everybody, you know, go right ahead. They're still very good items, but I just don't feel the need. On top of which, they're a bit more expensive than uh, big bottle rockets, and I think big bottle rockets are just more cost efficient. So I'm going to teleport to Foresight, take care of that, and one other thing, just don't buy any equipment for Paula there. I'll explain why in a bit. So I'll meet you outside the department store when I'm done with all my shopping. See you there. Okay, here we are. Now I'm going to teleport to Winter's. 
Now, an interesting thing about teleport is you can actually control where you're going. I'll show you. And then you hit down. Oh, diagonal, and you can move. You can... It's actually a quick way to get a get to places without getting into any battles, as long as you make sure to hit something. Now, oh, there's that monkey. Yeah, that's weird. That monkey that the bubble monkey likes. Now we want to go in here and we want to do a bit of shop. Yeah, I'm sorry this episode is so late, but like, you know, I swear it's cursed. I mean, the first time I tried recording this, I recorded it only three takes. Buy the non-stick pipe fan for Paula. Don't buy the one in uh, Foresight, because this one's better. Also, it's also better than the one coming up very quickly as well. So, and it's cheaper than the one we can get a little bit later on. So, you know, it's better than every way. But yeah... And then started listening to the episode I recorded to realize there was no sound. I forgot to turn on the freaking microphone! And then the next day I tried recording it. Cam Studio was basically, basically being an ass. I don't know why. Alright, teleport to three. Make sure you're back as far as you can. Otherwise you won't have time. You won't have the space to do it. I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm sorry about that. It was kind of ridiculous. Heck. We're going back to where the Skyrunner was. I'm sure you figured that out. And just go down here. Fortunately, you don't need the bad key machine to do this anymore. And this guy repaired it. Or he, like, painted over or something. Or maybe this guy says it. Oh, he painted over all the parts, yeah. And, come on, Jeff, hurry up. Alright. Okay. We're back now. Sorry about that. I had to edit. Oh, somebody interrupting me, but that's okay. Okay, well, I'm actually going to just fast forward through this. Make sure you hit a button to take off. I think you do. Or maybe you don't this time. I don't know. And fast forward. Okay, let's go. Oh, keep fast forwarding. How, how did she get here so fast? What the hell? We flew here and teleported and... What the hell? Come to think of it, why did we take the Runaway 5's, uh... Van or bus thing? I mean, wouldn't it have been faster just to teleport the 3? It'd be funny. It'd be like, yeah, we challenge your van to a race. Just teleport there. Uh, use this to heal up. I probably didn't even need to, but eh, whatever. Oh, uh, that guy sh sells uh, useless stuff, so don't worry about it. And talk to Dr. Andonauts. A cave north of Stonehenge. Rainy Circle. Okay, let's go there. I'm pretty sure you have to complete the Rainy Circle first. I've never tried to actually go to Summers without completing it first. But for the most part, you have a lot of freedom when it comes to getting the melodies. Oh, uh, that's a Mighty Bear 7. It's just a more powerful Mighty Bear. I'm not going to demonstrate it. Fight it the same way. And here we are at the 4th Sanctuary Cave. Now, I could fight him, but he's a pretty lengthy fight, and I'm not sure if I have enough time to get through it all. So I'll just cut it off right here. Now, I, do whatever you do, do not teleport out of this place to go do shopping or anything like that. Make sure you complete this place first. If you have to teleport back to Winter, you should teleport back to, the, to that little drugstore there. And we don't want to do that, so don't, don't do that. However, if you do make that mistake, I will be posting up a bonus episode demonstrating how to get back to this spot from where you're teleporting, and I will demonstrate the new, very difficult enemies there. Well, not very difficult, but pretty tough enemies, so I'll be doing that. I'll probably record that after I'm done with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Have a great day, guys.